In this video, we will show you how to properly wire the Deluxe DLX version 2 panels. For proper installation, you need to have on hand a diagram that came with your kit. Please make sure you have the user manual for the access control panel. If the USB is not included in the package, you will find a piece of paper that was included in the plastic bag of the controller box, which will give you instructions on how to get the manuals and software. Please keep in mind that this software is only compatible with Microsoft-based computers. If for whatever reason you also did not receive the piece of paper, follow these instructions. Go to our website, visionistech.com. Then go to Products and click on Networkable Software Panels. If you purchase the two-door DLX controller, look for VS Access 2 DLX version 2.0 and click on the product. Here you will find links to download the user manual, data sheets, anything you need. If you purchase the four-door DLX controller, just look on the category page for the VS Access 4 DLX version 2.0 and inside the product page, you will also find all the links to download the documentation. Now to download the software, go to the support option in the main menu, click on Titan VS Access Desktop Software, and then click on the Download Software button. Warning, please read this carefully before installing this kit. If you need to pause the video to look at all the elements here, please do so. This part is very important before you install the kit. The most common applications for these devices are commercial, residential, gas stations, pawn shops, secret rooms, and hospitals. In this section, you will see all the tools needed to install your system. Now, what we want to do is put these products on a workbench before you install this on your doors. It's important to do this because it allows you to get familiar with the units first. Identify the bus bar. In this step, we will show you the bus bar that is designed for easier connections. The bus bar has two floors. As you can see on the screen, this is the first floor and this one is the second floor. How to wire the readers to the control box. Attention, in this step, we will show you how to connect only one reader. If you have more than one reader, just follow this step the same way. For these steps, it is important that you follow the diagram on the door of the control box. We are going to give you instructions just to make sure that you are wiring it correctly. First, identify the second floor of the bus bar and locate 1RD0, 1RD1, 1RD negative, and 1RD positive. Then grab the green wire of the reader and connect it to 1RD0. Connect the white wire of the reader to 1RD1. Now connect the black wire of the reader to 1RD negative and then connect the red wire of the reader to 1RD positive. Keep in mind that reader 1 and reader 2 share the same positive and negative terminals 1RD positive, 1RD negative, and reader 3 and reader 4 share the same positive and negative terminals 2RD positive and 2RD negative. How to wire the exit buttons to the controller box. In this step, we will show you how to connect only one exit button. However, you will connect all other exit buttons to their corresponding terminals the same way. Grab the yellow NO wire of the exit button and connect it to the AN1 terminal on the second floor of the bus bar. Then attach the green wire and the black wires of the exit button, which are the COM and negative wires, and connect them to the GND terminal on the second floor of the bus bar. Lastly, connect the red positive wire of the exit button 
to the 1C terminal on the first floor of the bus bar. How to wire the mag locks to the controller box. For starters, we will use the positive red wire and the negative black wires from the mag lock. Keep in mind that we will show you how to connect one mag lock, but the connection remains the same for all other doors and terminals. For easier connection, remove the bus bar from the cabinet by loosening the screws on the side. Let's grab the red positive wire of the mag lock and connect it to the 1NC terminal on the first floor of the bus bar. Then connect the black negative wire of the mag lock to the GND terminal of the second floor of the bus bar. When you finish the connections, you can put the bus bar back into the cabinet. For connection of a normally open lock, you will connect the positive wire of the lock to the 1NO terminal on the first floor of the bus bar. Connect the panel to the power and the LAN cable to the router. Now that we have done the wiring, you can go ahead and connect the power cord and turn the breaker switch on. You will see that the panel, the keypad, and the exit button turns on and the mag lock engages. We will now connect the controller box to the router. Please keep in mind that the controller box does not include a LAN cable. Grab a LAN cable and connect it to the LAN port that is located on the upper left-hand side of the PCB board and the other end to your router. Since we connected a VIS 3000 series keypad, you need to put it on Wigan mode. To do this, press star, number nine six times, pound, then press three, one, zero, pound, and star. Let's keep everything on, and in the next video, we can go ahead and configure everything in the software. Here is the link to the Titan VS Access software configuration video.